welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony and I make videos on fashion and styling. So if you were into that kind of thing, then you should definitely, definitely stick around. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a timestamp here um, for the start of this actual video, which is me styling my collection of vintage coats for winter and winter outfit ideas. But before I get started, I just want to say Happy New Year. I'm happy to be back. Also, thank you guys so much because I have reached 700 subscribers since my last video and I'm really excited about that. So now going into this new year, I have a few things that I kind of wanted to chat with you guys about and um, discuss kind of what I'm thinking about my channel and what I want to do and different things. So the first thing is that I am planning to start an Instagram for my channel. I don't really have a, an actual Instagram that I use for like in, in, in conjunction with my YouTube channel. I have my personal one, which some of you guys have followed me on, but I don't post there much because I'm not too, too into social media in that form. But I figured, um, there might be some content that I could put on Instagram if you guys are interested in that. So I'm going to have a Google form down below where you guys can put in your ideas or say, if you would like to see an Instagram for this, um, channel and you want something that I can be posting on and any ideas you guys have for that um, and so I can start planning that out. I plan to launch it at some point in February so um, I definitely want to get you guys's oops, I definitely want to get y'all's input on uh, what kind of content I'll be posting on my Instagram coming up so be on the lookout for that um, and the second thing is that I was just thinking a lot about the new year and I really really enjoy styling. You guys know this. I have my channel. I do it for myself all the time, but I definitely want to get into more like styling the people. I know I style like my family members and I've had my own personal styling business in the past, but I definitely want to like hone my skills even more. So I want to know if you guys would be interested in me styling you. Now it's going to be for free. Like I'm not going to be charging you guys for anything just because I want to try my hand at it and see um, how that would work like virtually. So um, uh, it, there'll be a question about that in the Google form. So if you guys want to work with me as your personal stylist uh, for free, just uh, put uh, fill out the survey that's down below and then we can get connected and we can start that journey with you guys. It's so exciting because I just, at the root of what I'm doing is really just that I want to make people feel good and realize their worth and their value and that they can wear whatever they want and that fashion is accessible to them. It's not uh, in a space of other, it's not that girl or they can do it and I can't. I think everybody can. You guys just need the tools to know what that means for you and I really want to help you guys discover that. So if you're interested in working with me, um, styling you for free, please fill out the form down below so we can get connected. And so yeah, we're going to get into the uh, styling video for today, which is me styling my vintage coat collection and winter outfit ideas. So let's get right into it. So um, this first coat here is part, the first coat I'm going to show you guys for my vintage collection. It is super heavy. It's suede and faux shearling. I love this. The brand is Express. So I'm not sure if this is the Express that we know today vintage or what, but it says Express something in French. Don't know, but I love it. It has this huge, huge collar. It's so warm, so cozy. Kind of, I don't know, 70s, it's like an aviator, kind of, not really, I don't know. It's kind of a lot of different jacket styles mixed into one, which is why I really loved it. It's so, so warm. So I'll show you guys how I style this now. For this first look, I started off with the base of my thrifted Gap jeans and a turtleneck that is from Stradivarius that I got on ASOS. I have a thrifted belt and these thrifted booties, but the brand is BCBG Girl. I really like this one. It's so cozy, like a marshmallow or something. I think it'd be really cool for a day where you might be outside a little bit and you want to make sure that you are nice and cozy. And I have this thrifted bag that I added to it. And I really like it too because you, it almost like eliminates the need for a scarf because you can lift up that collar and it serves almost like a hat in a hood but like it doesn't cover your whole head so that's nice so you really need that on windy days so this one's really cute okay next up is a classic wool uh, like midi length peacoat uh, in black 
so really I just needed a black hood. This is, I've had this from when I lived up north and I realized that I had my black puffer coat but I really wanted like a dressier coat and I found this at the thrift store for $10. Completely wool, again so heavy so it's hard for me to hold these up. Super nice and the fit is just like superb on this. So this is just like a super classic jacket that everyone needs their long wool pea coat. So I'll show you guys how I style this coming up. There's no, <clears throat> There's no brand inside of it, which is kind of a tip to know if something is true vintage because a lot of vintage stuff doesn't have tags in it or um, they have the little, uh, there's like a little tag on the side of it and it'll say like women's union and it's like a blue stamp and that's how you can know that something's true vintage when you were looking it up or if there is no tag because a lot of times the laws changed. so. It was a while before they were forced to include tags as far as like what the materials are and stuff. So if you can't find that and you're suspecting that something's vintage and you don't see any like uh, composition tags on it, it could be true vintage. So just so you know when you guys are out there thrifting. So like I said, a black wool peacoat is an absolute essential for the winter, at least for me it is. So I decided to pair mine with this pair of thrifted pants that I got from... Uh, well the thrift store but the brand is backstage a thrifted turtleneck and my converse my bag is thrifted and my gloves are from TJ Maxx so I really like this one I feel like I might wear it to like a museum or something just walking around where I want to be um, dressed up but comfortable and still not too dressed up um, so I really like pairing the slacks with the converse and this coat because it's the perfect balance of casual and chic and it is a little bit cool girl for me, so I wasn't sure if I could pull it off, but I actually really liked it. Um, let's go on to the next coat. All right, so this one is also a black coat, except it is leather and it is so so absolutely gorgeous it's one of those things that has sorry like it's so heavy i can't hold it up but it has um a lining inside i'm pretty sure this is probably from the 80s the brand is ada and i'm going to come up to the camera you guys can see the beautiful detailing here like it's kind of like um an overlaid like stamp of paisley right here and then it has this braided intricate detail i really really love it and that goes all the way around the back of the jacket as well and it's 100 percent leather real leather um i absolutely love this and i will show you guys exactly how i style it coming up I wanted to give you guys a colorful option for the winter, so I paired this floral dress that has a lot of different colors in it under, or excuse me, over a black turtleneck that I thrifted. I have a thrifted belt and then my Kate Spade boots, which I got at Plato's Closet. So I really like the colors in this look because, you know, we get so dark in the winter. Now, this jacket is actually like a lot of sizes too big for me, but I just couldn't pass it up when I saw it. So I figured to wear it and make it look really cute, I can push up the sleeve so it looks kind of like a cap puff sleeve like I did here here and it turned out really well just because I know those like cocoon sleeves are like a staple of the 80s and when you push them up like this it looks like a different kind of sleeve so I liked it all right so this is going to be the coat that started it all this was my first vintage coat I'll show you guys what it looks like so here it is it is faux fur all, all of this is faux fur but the collar is mink I believe I got this for, I believe, honestly, it was only like 10 bucks in the thrift store and I could not believe it. Um, I wonder if this has an example of what I was talking about on the inside, and it doesn't. But um, it has these gorgeous covered buttons and it's just such a good color. Funny story with this coat, I wore it um, on my 21st. 25th birthday I went to see Mean Girls on Broadway and I wore this with like jeans and boots and it was really cute and at intermission I was going to get a drink at the bar and literally two women different women tried to buy this coat off my back they were like how much would you want for it how much would you want for it they tried to buy this coat off of me and uh, I was like nothing it's priceless to me it's so gorgeous so that is how um it's just a funny memory that i have with this coat i was at broadway and someone tried to buy it 
off my back. But I'll show you guys another way that I can style it now. So this jacket by Nature is very formal, so I really wanted to bring everything down with the accessories and the clothing that I chose. So I have this pair of wide-legged light wash denim from Zara. I have a pair of Via Svika boots that I thrifted and they're vintage. I have a thrifted sweater and vintage gloves that I got in the consignment store I used to work in. So like I said, oh, and my bag's thrifted as well. But like I said, yeah, I really just wanted to, with the shapes and the styling of it all, really bring down the coat because it is so formal. So I think it turned out really good. I really like this one and hopefully I can wear it soon but it doesn't get that cold in Florida so we'll see. Oh I think this is probably the second vintage coat that I got and it is this beautiful beautiful crushed velvet with like a uh, faux shearling lining. Oh here's an example of the tag I was talking about. If you guys look at it up close you see how it says it's like a blue stamp and it has a uh, workers union on there that is an indication that it is absolutely true vintage. So um, if you find that, you know you found a gem. And again, so you see how there's no like brand, there's no brand tag here, but there is a tag that was made by the workers union. So that's how you know that it is vintage. But anywho, it has these two big buttons. I think this is giving me 50s feeling. I'm not like a fashion historian, but I feel like this cut is definitely like a 50s type of cut with the shortened sleeves and the kind of cape style coat and then these two uh, big buttons. So I will show you guys how I style this coming up. I think I'll call this my groovy Mrs. Claus outfit. I'm wearing this dress that is actually from Charlotte Roofs. It was my mom, so I'm assuming that it's probably from like the early 2000s or late 90s. My same thrifted cashmere turtleneck, my pair of Sam Edelman knee-high boots, and the thrifted jacket. I really like this one because again, I wanted to still bring in some color but keep it warm. And I did like the juxtaposition of two different decades together in an outfit, just how this looks so 70s, but then the jacket is 50s. So I think it was a really cool mix and I really love this one. Lastly, I have this bad boy. It's a town and travel leather trench in this camel color with a fur uh, collar. I'm pretty sure the fur on here is real. But I'm not sure. I know the leather is real. The fur, I think, is real. But I found this in a Goodwill. I think I got it for maybe seven, eight bucks. I love it, and I'm pretty sure this one's for the 70s. So I kind of have the range of, uh, of decades when it comes to vintage coats, which is really cool. Um, and this is from the brand Town and Travel. It doesn't have our little workers union, but this one you can kind of tell just by the label that it's vintage. So I absolutely love this guy, and I'll show you guys how I set it now. So for this one, I paired these pleated front pants that I thrifted with a thrifted belt and a thrifted turtleneck uh, and thrifted shoes. I ended up wearing tights under my pants so that I could wear my sandals into the winter. So I really like that because sometimes it's like you get bored of your same old boots and things and it's like, I just want to wear my sandals. So obviously putting on tights or cute socks or something with your open toed shoes is a great way to bring them into the winter. Now I kind of kept it pretty simple because this jacket is really the star but I think I just really like the tones of this how it's kind of cool and warm tones together with the belt being silver and gray and gold and then my pants being a dark like a grayish blue and the warmth of the jacket Alrighty, thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed please let me know which look was your favorite and which coat was your favorite and again um, please let me know your thoughts on an Instagram for this channel as well as if you're interested in me styling you for free you guys can uh, put that input in at the Google form survey that I'll have down below and again thank you so much for 700 subscribers and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you liked what you saw have something to say or would just like to keep up with the rest of the fashion and styling videos that I'll be posting here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.